lead. Here is a weight used by divers on their belts. You can see you can put a loop, a belt through this, and you have several of these to counterbalance the buoyancy for scuba divers. Lead is very heavy, we all know that. Interestingly enough, lead is not as heavy as gold is, and as a result, it is very difficult to fake gold by simply painting over because one can determine the density of this and show that indeed it is an element other than gold, such as lead. The Archimedes principle utilizes this the idea of buoyancy and the displacement and of course Archimedes himself was the person who jumped up from his bathtub so the story goes once he had the idea of how to ascertain whether or not the king's crown was pure gold or whether it was fake. Lead ore is typically in the form of galena which is lead sulfide. Notice this crystal is cubic very similar to the iron sulfide. This is heavy as well because it is a lead compound. Most of the lead is obtained from lead sulfide in the world's metal business. Here is a sample of cerusite. Cerusite is lead carbonate and it is white. Now this was used very commonly for paints up until several decades ago because it is a beautiful white pigment for paints and of course is poisonous and we have phased out of cerusite or lead carbonate to titanium oxide instead. Actually lead can occur in the native state. Here's a sample here of native lead. And if you remember, I said a few moments ago, it was confused sometimes by the ancients with graphite. And indeed, it does look like graphite, doesn't it? But it is heavier than graphite. But back several centuries ago, scientists or alchemists were not concerned with density as they are today.